Sometimes you'll touch in one place on the screen and the pen or your mouse will show up in a completely different place. So for example, I'm clicking right here and you can see it's writing a couple inches to the right of where my pen is actually touching on the board. Uh, so this is an instance where we need to actually calibrate uh, the whiteboard. Um, and to do that, you can probably use your remote would be the easiest way um, to get there. You click the menu button, you can scroll down to extended and in that extended, the very first option at the top is whatever mode um, your Epson interactive projector is in. In this case, I'm an easy interactive function. And when I select that, the first two options here at the top are auto calibration and manual calibration. If I select the auto calibration, I can just sit back and it's going to recalibrate itself um, when I select yes for this prompt. So we've just run the auto calibration. Let's see if it worked. And it looks like it did a pretty good job. Now let's say we did the auto calibration and it didn't work and our pen is still writing a couple inches to the right. Uh, we're gonna go right back to that screen uh, where we found that auto calibration. So I'll click menu, come down to extended, select that first option at the top there. And this time, instead of selecting auto calibration, I'll select manual calibration. This one takes a little bit more work. When I click yes, it's going to ask me to follow the dots on the screen. Um, this can be a little bit uh, time consuming, uh, but I find that the kids really like to do it. So this could be something that um, you do at the very beginning of a class. You let a student come up um, and calibrate your board for you. Once that manual calibration is complete, your pen uh, should pick up and start uh, writing in the correct place.